there, I'm Lorelei Bailey at Albatross Brasserie, enjoying the sunshine on our patio. I'm here with the Wine Buzz on Cork Series, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of the Pims Royal Cup, which traditionally is equal parts champagne and Pims. And today I'm going to be doing that, but adding a few extra ingredients to spice it up a bit. So first you're going to be starting off with Pims Number One Cup, which is the gin base libation. That's going to be about two ounces. And you're going to also be adding a bit of rosemary simple syrup, which is equal parts sugar and water. And you boil that down a bit and add some rosemary and get that nice herby flavor. We're also going to be taking about half a grapefruit, pink grapefruit to be exact, and adding that in there for some nice bitterness, tartness, and that great citrus flavor here. Also going to be adding half of a wine's worth of juice just to get even more of that tart bitter citrus flavor in there and we are going to be adding some diced cucumber as well cucumber is one of the uh, staple ingredients that's going to be muddled with pims traditionally and a bit of tarragon um, all these herbs I'm going to be adding you can go as crazy as you want with the herbs or add no herbs you know this is a drink that it sort of prides itself and lends itself to variability, and it's sort of all about what's fresh in your garden. Uh, all these herbs that I'm using here are from our garden that is located behind our restaurant, and uh, that makes it fun. You know, use the, the pick of the season. I also have some basil here. I just added some rosemary and some fresh mint. I'm just going to tear up this basil a bit, and it looks like we have a nice fruit salad going here with our pims. I'm just going to uh, start muddling it and releasing a lot of those essential oils and all these herbs pair so nicely with PIMS just because PIMS is made um, by infusing fruit and botanicals and making a sort of delicious aperitif. And I'm going to now um, add it to a shaker filled with ice. I'm going to give it a nice hard shake, make it nice and cold. I'm going to strain it over ice that I have already prepared here. And there's just enough room in there for me to top it with a bit of kava. Traditionally it would be champagne. Um, kava, I find, is a lot of times cheaper and you really can't taste the difference when you're using any cocktails. So now is the fun part where you can just sort of go crazy with all the garnishes and really impress your guests or anyone you have over cocktailing and uh, of course smelling the herbs as you're drinking, you know, adds a whole nother dimension. Um, I really could just go crazy here and add all sorts of things, but I will stop with the herbs and just a nice refreshing cucumber wheel. And I have these really fun vintage straws that are actually all glass and they have a little spoon at the bottom. Uh, so if you did choose to do any sort of fruit in there, you know, your guests would be able to grab it up with the spoon and enjoy. So cheers.